several weeks ago, you guys were hit by a tornado. Tell us kind of the damage that took place here on property. Uh, we received significant damage. All three of our boathouses were completely leveled. Um, three of our lodging units were completely, well, five or six of our lodging units were completely destroyed. Um, all of our lodging sustained heavy damage. Um, so unfortunately for the entire month of June, our busiest season, we're completely down for all lodging and really all RV sites as well. Yeah, and over the last several weeks since that happened, we've had storms that have continued to roll through this area with heavy rainfall and just really haven't been able to catch a break here. How has that affected you guys recovering here? Kind of what have you guys seen since then? Sure, we've been extremely blessed with a lot of community support and volunteers coming out to help out and clean up. My employees have rallied around us and, uh, and have really stepped up and we've made extremely uh, a lot of progress in the last uh, couple days. Um, the rain has not helped. As you can see behind us, the lake is at a severe flood stage now. Um, we had most of the boathouses clear, but unfortunately right now we're at a dead stop until the water goes down so we can safely continue that work. Yeah, talk about what recovery has looked like for you here. I know you said your employees have really been all hands on deck. You know, I even know some of the people from me being out here that live out here have been, you know, helping as well. Uh, talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so I mean, um, a lot of my employees do live on property. Um, this is their livelihood as well. Um, so, um, you know, this is our busy season. This is where we make money. Um, and um, they're all stepping in to help make sure that this place survives. Um, right now, we are hurting really bad. The entire month of June is one of our busiest months, usually when we're honoring reservations. Obviously, now with everything down, we're, we're possibly looking at having to refund those when we are financially stable. But right now, we're focusing on our employees to keep their payroll checks going. Uh, we do have a GoFundMe account um, that's available on our social media. Um, any little bit helps, but right now, we're trying to just take care of our employees and get this place back up and going as quickly as we can. As far as the timeline on that, we were hoping to be open this weekend, but with the floodwaters, there's not a possibility of that. So. If we can catch a break with Mother Nature, maybe next weekend we can at least get the store and restaurant open. As, as to lodging and RV sites, that's probably going to be July 1st before we get those going again. Yeah, and you know, you have mentioned a few times that this is the busiest season and being down a whole month. What does that do for you guys here at the resort, especially having to then pick up recovering and all this, you know, paying for things sure. you know, going on? Yeah, we're in a tight spot right now. Um, We've burned through all of our cash reserves and everything at the moment to try to satisfy the dumpster hauling and the debris companies. Insurance is still dragging their feet on writing us any kind of checks at the moment. So um, without the support of the employees and the community members that have come out, we would have had to close the doors already. So we are so grateful for everybody that's come out and helped both financially and physically. Every, every bit has helped tremendously and we greatly appreciate everybody that's come out here and helped us out. Yeah, and in this next you know week or so, it does look like we're going to have some, some sunshine. Thank so goodness. So what are you hoping to get done you know, throughout that time? Well, we're still stuck with the flood stage. Um, the water is still rising slowly today. It'll hopefully peak today and start going down over the next day or two. But we're looking at least two or three days of sunshine just to get the lake level back down to a, to a level that we can start resuming work. Um, once that starts, you know, we're going to hit it as hard as we can, as fast as we can to clean up what we can and get people, their, the remaining boats back to their owners. Um, we still got about five or six boats pinned in the boathouse. So we're still working as diligently as we can to try to get them out and free and back to their owners. But, um, you know, we just need a break from Mother Nature and uh, we need two weeks of sunny skies, really. I know you've mentioned the community members a lot. What does it mean to you, them stepping up and helping you guys out and keeping you guys afloat? Oh, it's been a lifesaver. Like I said, I can't express enough gratitude to the community members and my staff that have uh, gone above and beyond to show their support, like I said, even financially and physically. I mean, we've had multiple work days with volunteers have shown up, and um, without them, this place would still... I mean, it still looks like a disaster zone, but it would look way worse without their help and assistance. So, again, we can't appreciate them enough. Is there anything else that you feel like is really important that I haven't asked you about? Uh, for all our customers and uh, potential guests, just try to be patient with us. We're going to try to resume services as fast as we can. Um, yeah. So.